Today I will show you how to activate Copilot in Windows 10. Completely to be honest, I want to note that I managed to do it the first time without any problems, just sharing my experience. Firstly, what is Copilot? Microsoft Copilot is a chatbot developed by Microsoft. Based on a large language model, it was launched as a Bing chat as an built feature for Microsoft Bing and Microsoft Edge, and is Microsoft's primary replacement for the discontinued Cortana. For simple understanding, this is something quite similar to ChatGPT. It was a surprise to me when I find out that there are ways to activate this feature in Windows 10, because not everyone was able to do it even in Windows 11. Seriously. However, it is possible, but I cannot guarantee that everything will work. In any case, let me know in the comments below does it work for you. So, let's get started. And here we go. As you can see, at the moment we are in Windows 10. This is Pro version. We don't have any Copilot button yet. Still, it will appear. So as you can see, this is Windows 10 Pro 22H2 version. First that we need to do is to get the latest updates. So click here on the settings, then navigate to updates and security and check for the latest updates. Click here, then wait until it will get all necessary updates, restart your system. And after that, you can proceed to the next stage. You need to close this window and now we need to open Microsoft Edge browser. The same thing as on Windows 10, we're going to check for the latest updates, but this time in the Microsoft Edge browser. Click here and select settings. Then scroll down a little bit and select about Microsoft Edge. Click here. After getting the latest updates, you can open a new page and you need to copy this link. A link I will leave in the video description or you can manually enter this website. It will all depend on you. Press enter. As you can see, we will navigate to the github.com from which we will download and install Vive tool. So literally this utility will help us to activate Copilot in Windows 10. That is, after all this process, it will appear in the lower right corner, right here. On this page, scroll down a little bit until you will see this file, Vive tool. As you can see, it is a zip file, so click on it and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. Now we can open it in folder and you can close the browser. So what we're going to do next? Firstly, we need to extract all files. So click on the right mouse button and select extract all. Click on extract. Wait a few seconds and please take a close look. Now you need to move the mouse cursor up here, click one more time, then click on the right mouse button and select copy. Move the mouse cursor on the search and type command and then you will see that command prompt. Click on the right mouse button and importantly to run it as administrator. Click here, select yes. In the command line, you need to type next, cd, press the spacebar, then click on the right mouse button and then it will automatically paste the path to the Vive tool, which is very important. So click here and voila, as you can see, C drive, users, user downloads a Vive tool. Press enter. After this, you need to copy and paste the next command in the command prompt. I will leave it in the video description. So click here, solid copy, click on the right mouse button and press enter. After that, you will see next message, successfully set feature configurations and you need to type exit. Press enter. Before proceeding to the next stage, it's necessary to restart the system. So click on the power and select restart. After restarting the system, you need to do the last step. So move the mouse cursor to the search. Type next. Reg. Edit. Click on the right mouse button on the registry editor and run it as administrator. Select yes. In the upper left corner, select computer. Then select HK current user. 
from each key current user, you need to navigate to the software. From software, you need to navigate to the Microsoft. After selecting Microsoft folder, you need to scroll down a little bit until you will find Windows folder. Scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see, it is Windows folder. Click on it. Then select Shell folder. Here it is, Shell. And select Copilot. And finally, you will see this folder, which is Bing Chat. So click on it. Please take a close look because this is very important step. You need to open this file, double click on it, and you need to change the value data from zero to one. And importantly, to leave hexadecimal. Click here and select OK. After this process, you need to close all the folders. Close Microsoft, software, and computer. Now we can close this window. And here it is. Click on the rightmost button and voila, show copilot preview button. Click here and copilot appears. Now you can click on it. As you can see, the loading process begin. And let's try to ask something. For example, what is Windows 12? Press enter, searching for Windows 12. My friends, as you can see, everything works correctly. Microsoft Copilot provides relevant info about Windows 12. However, I want to mention that some users face problem by using Copilot in Windows 10. Someone cannot even see it. My thoughts on the Copilot in Windows 10. I think it's a great feature for those people who need this feature. And also, I think soon it will be available for every single user after installing Windows 10. That's my opinion. Also, if you don't want to see Copilot, one more time, you can click on the right mouse button and uncheck this option. And then it will disappear. Or you can permanently disable it from a registry, as I showed you before. My conclusions. Using Vive tool, you can try to activate Copilot in Windows 10. Does it work stably? Hmm, in my opinion, not yet. After all, agree, in order to activate it, you need to do a bunch of steps. On the other hand, I think it's good that Microsoft integrates quite useful features in Windows 10 and not only in Windows 11. This gives hope that Windows 10 will be popular even after the end of the support in 2025. By the way, I still use it as the main operating system and you know what? I like it. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to activate Copilot in Windows 11.